Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're going to be taking a look at my lights out bag. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Alright, so since this is National Preparedness Month, I was doing some double checks of my bag here, just making sure everything was uh, in order. Thought you guys might want to take a look as well. Now it doesn't, uh, it's not 100% uh, communications, but this bag does have some communications capability. Primary purpose of this bag though is if the power goes out. Uh, so whatever may cause that, uh, we live in a tornado prone area. So in our area, it's probably going to be a tornado or maybe uh, during the winter months, a ice storm that takes out power. So this is a bag that I have uh, put together. It lives in my closet uh, of the bedroom because that's kind of our place to go uh, in the event of a tornado. We don't have a storm shelter, so that's the next best thing. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into it and see what I've stuck in the bag. So one of the first things you'll see on the outside of the bag is my little uh, communications tag. And on the reverse, I'm not going to flip it over on camera, but it has important uh, names and telephone numbers. So friends and family that we might want to get in touch with. I just printed up an extra one of these. I've got them in both of my vehicles, uh, but I've got an extra one here just in case we're at home and somebody's lost their cell phone, cell phone's dead, something like that. We've still got a way to uh, look up phone numbers of those close to us. Next, on this little cord, you'll see a whistle and a small little light. Now, that's one thing in this kit, there is a lot of lights. Uh, but I like to keep this one on the outside, uh, just so it's quick and easy. There's actually a couple more on the outside as well. Uh, the whistle. I have a morbid fear of a tornado hitting the house. Me and my wife are in the closet, and... I, you know, we become entrapped uh, by whatever, by debris, by the house coming down around us, by whatever. Uh, this is kind of a last ditch effort, having a whistle in there to be able to alert someone on the outside. Uh, but, but yeah, that, that fear drives uh, my decision for a whistle. All right, so on this side of the bag, you'll see a couple of more flashlights. Uh, there's an extra antenna for a radio that's inside and then just some cheapo chem lights uh, that we can use uh, if needed, if, you know, if the lights are out. You can crack those open, leave them uh, in the bathroom or whatever. They got a fairly lengthy uh, life uh, to them, so maybe six, eight hours. You can leave them in places just to kind of help light the way without uh, having a, you know, a, a flashlight with you all the time. So just a helpful little item. All right, carrying on with the light theme, I found these guys on Amazon. I'll leave a link to those down in the uh, description below. It's little button lights. I think you get a six pack of them for 10 bucks and I bought these maybe a year ago. Uh, I actually bought two packs of them. One of them got opened and played with and distributed uh, and they work fairly well. I put this one in here unopened so that I would know that they were not used. And if I remember right, I believe they advertise 17 hours of battery life on uh, each of these. So they don't put off a lot of light, uh, but handy little items that you could leave in various uh, locations while the power was out. And they're cheap enough to replace when you're done. Next up is just a basic little AM FM radio, runs on AA batteries. This is great for gathering information. Uh, if the TV and whatnot is out. So I keep it tuned. I don't have the batteries in it right now, but I do keep it tuned to a local radio station that carries one of our local TV stations audio during uh, severe weather. So just put the batteries in it, turn it on, and it should be tuned or very close to the station that you need it on. In addition to that, I keep the little Eaton uh, weather radio in here. So it's got AM, FM, uh, and the weather radio built in. Uh, I believe it has a flashlight on it. The most important thing with this guy though is it has a hand crank. Uh, so you don't have to have batteries. It does have a battery built into it, rechargeable, but if that battery is completely dead, you can simply use the hand crank. Uh, you can kind of see it a little bit through the box there, but you can use the hand crank to uh, give you a few minutes of use. So this is one that you can generate your own power for. So don't have to waste batteries if you want to listen to the weather radio. 
Of course, I keep a couple of packs of batteries in here, uh, both AA and AAA. One thing you might want to do here, guys, uh, right on here when you purchase these batteries. So these were purchased in 2014, so they're about five years old now. Uh, they say they last for 20 years. I do buy the more expensive uh, Ultimate Lithium, uh, according to Energizer, uh, but they do hold their charge quite a bit longer. So that was the reason I'm not going to leave them in there 20 years. In fact, uh, five years probably my mark, so I'll probably be pulling these out soon and replacing them with some fresh batteries. This is something that I've had for quite a while. It's actually a power inverter. Uh, it's a pure sine wave power inverter. Uh, I am a professional photographer, and this was purchased to actually run studio lights uh, several years back. We no longer use that style of light, so I don't need this in that gear. I didn't sell it though because it's a great uh, little accessory to have in here. We can recharge things with it. We can actually, I actually run like a 42 inch uh, LED television for a few hours uh, using this battery. Since we have over-the-air television, I don't have to worry about the cable going out. We're just pulling the broadcast uh, live over the air. So this thing will run that TV for uh, two, maybe three hours before it uh, kills over. So just one other battery, uh, you know, to have in there to help charge things up. That came from uh, Paul C. Buff, if you're interested. They're, uh, they're really nice. Uh, they are pretty pricey. I want to say this thing's 200, maybe 250 bucks. I haven't looked at them in a while, uh, but they are manufactured right here in Nashville, Tennessee. So great company. All right, then we've got a headlamp in there. I like headlamps uh, better than flashlights, although there's a few flashlights on the outside of the bag. Uh, as soon as I can use one of those to dig inside and find the headlamp, that's what I'm going to. It just gives me a hands-free option uh, for light. So the AAA batteries uh, that you saw a moment ago are to power this. The AA's power the little AM FM radio. There's other batteries in the house that I can go and grab, uh, rechargeables and things like that. But uh, I, I do keep those batteries in here just to be quick and easy. I don't have to look, I don't have to search. I know I've got fresh batteries ready to go. And we're getting down close to the end. Of course, we have to throw in the required Balfang radio. Uh, anytime I need a disposable radio, I pick up one of these Balfangs or grab one uh, from somewhere else that's not in use and throw it in here. I've got probably half a dozen of these sprinkled throughout various kits. Not the best radio on the market, but uh, when you want something cheap just to throw in the bag and forget about, uh, it will definitely work. I've got better HTs, but if I don't have one handy, uh, working repeaters with a Balfang in this area works fine. So no complaints with a little, uh, little cheapo radio. Also keep just a bag of tea lights in here. So if the lights are out, uh, another good item that uh, you can just set around in various places, light these up. They're inexpensive. Uh, they'll burn for a few hours, uh, you know, and, and give you just a little bit of illumination through the house so you can at least walk through uh, without having to fire up uh, headlamps or flashlights. So help save the batteries in that case. Um, you know, so we, we sprinkle them around the house if we need to. And last but not least uh, are a couple of cards. Now these are the communications plans that I have put together. I featured those before. I'll leave a link to uh, that family communications plan video up at the top. Uh, but this has just got uh, instructions for the radio. Uh, and then a few more on the back. So we just keep these in here in case uh, maybe I wasn't at home and the wife was gonna dig through this bag. She would have a little bit of something to go on. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. So there's a quick look at what's in the Lights Out bag. I hope it inspires you, gets the gears turning, and you put something together that's similar to this just in case the power goes out where you live. And we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3. So more often than not, it's probably going to be a tornado, at least close to us, if, uh, hmm. Uh, this is great for gathering information uh, from a literal, uh, blah, 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 can't talk. 
This is one that you can regenerate uh, or you can and since we have over the air um, uh, I'm sorry over the air television let's try one more time 